Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to something a little bit different. This is the home front the revolution this is the new home front game that's coming out later this year and i signed up a few months ago with my brother to uh, to participate in the beta for this game because we actually enjoyed the first one and this last week i actually got an invite to help with the stress test um it, it's it, they're calling it a beta i think it's more of an alpha um test um because certainly the email said that um once done the stress test I need to leave the game on there. There'll be an update before the beta comes out. So I, I'm assuming there's more. This so this is more about testing the servers to make sure that the servers are going to run okay. And so I I jumped into this. We only had a few hours on a Friday evening. I think between seven and ten. And I think there was a couple of hours early in the morning. So it was something like it was something stupid between like one a.m. in the morning and three a.m. in the morning. I, I can't remember what it was. I didn't do that one anyway. I got on and got maybe an hour or so. Um, of gameplay in this so I to be honest I didn't um, really get, get a good chance to look into everything that the game can do because I just didn't have the time I wanted to get in to get some ga gameplay footage unfortunately a lot of my footage I lost my capture card was crashing on me and so <laughs> here is one round that actually I caught the whole thing of and so um, that's what you're going to be seeing in the background at the moment you're going to see me just running through some of the customization options you get um, you can uh, you know you can choose your, your weapons before you actually go into a, a mission you can choose um, the type of person you've got I think they have different perks depending on who you are um, once again I need to do a little bit more research into that like I say I was more interested in actually playing the game and seeing how the game was going to play out. Um, the first issue I really ran into was the fact that because it was a stress test, I guess there wasn't that many people, particularly in the UK, which is where I live, and there wasn't that many people actually participating in this. And so for the first 40 odd minutes, I sat around waiting to actually get someone to, to join me because what we were playing is actually a... Um, it, it's the, it's the co-op uh, part of the game. So there's two maps, um, so I'm playing that the cops, you have to have an, what, at least one other person, I think there's four players in total that can play, and so I had to wait around. Anyway, we, we, we got into this, and um, I just want to go through some of the things that really impressed me um, about the game. Um, obviously, graphically, it, it looks better than the first one, uh, but it is going to, this is next gen. Um, I think it can be better. Um, and I think obviously, you know, as an alpha or a beta, this is graphically, although looking okay, is certainly um, going to look better um, for final release. But yeah, it, it was okay. Kind of a got a kind of a grungy feel to it. Um, but the first thing I really like about this um, is the peak um, uh, mechanic um, to the game. When you get, when you walk up to a wall, you'll actually see a little prompt come up, and so that all you have to do is actually go ADS and you can peek over the object. I can't remember if you can peek round it. I've got a feeling you did at one point, but you certainly can peek over uh, an obstacle. So you can take cover, you can peek over, have a couple of shots at the guy. I think there's a blind fire as well. Um, so I really like the way they do that. You don't feel as though you get hung up on anything because it literally, you just walk up to an object and you can just peek over it. Um, if, if you crouch down. So I, I really like that. Uh, and that's implemented really well. And certainly the movement in this game seems to be quite fluid and quite nice. You know, if you want to um, jump up, jump over or jump up onto things, it's, it's one button and that'll do that. And that's quite a f fluid mo movement. And certainly you can do that as you run, you can uh, hurdle obstacles. So yeah, I, I really like the way that they've got the, and the movement mechanics in this game done. And that plays really well. Um, you can either decide to play this game kind of the stealthy creep around um, well, we did that in one game where we were able to literally creep right around to the objective without alerting anybody. Instead of going straight through, we did a, fl a wide flank round. That was that was kind of nice, but uh, as soon as you get to your objective, there's a little area, and you'll see that in your mini-map, there's like an area that you have to be, you kind of have to be in it um, to kind of kick um, the, the, the action off. And when that happens, um, yeah, that's kind of fun. You know, you, you really have to be on your toes. Um, right now, what you're seeing is it, it, I, I actually get down quite quickly, and so I'm now waiting for my teammate to come and revive me. And I really love that mechanic. I love the fact that you can actually heal each other. So when you go down, um, you can heal each other. You'll see me there using like an EpiPen to heal myself. You can do that as well. Um, so when your health goes down, instead of waiting for a little while to let your health cool up, you can just jab yourself and your health goes back up. I really like that. Um, I, I also like the fact, and I guess there's only going to be in the campaign mode, but uh, you have a limited amount of ammo. There are ammo drops around, and you have to find them, but it just kind of means that you've got to move. 
you know, if you just stay in one place too long um, and don't uh, finish the objective, you're going to run out of ammunition and you're going to have to then either rely on your sidearm, which that too will run out of ammunition. And so you then have to find the supply drop to get a bit, a bit more. But once you've used that supply drop, certainly was um, in this game, as soon as you've used that supply drop, it won't allow you to resupply after that. So it, it, like, it's almost like a one hit supply so that's kind of interesting that really means you really have to be a little bit uh, economic with your your bullets and your firing and you know and make sure that you know whatever you're shooting at you're gonna kill um, and you want to use those bullets sparingly so I kind of like that um, the other thing I liked was that the AI seems to be quite intuitive and they will actually rush you or duck behind cover and I like that it kind of makes it a bit more immersive although you know roughly where the wave of enemy is gonna come from once they actually get into the combat zone they got a mind of their own, and they will actually uh, rush you or flank round and come up behind you, and so that's that's really nice. And so yeah, so they've done some really nice things with this game, and uh, you know I I really kind of enjoyed doing this. I don't know about longevity, you know, um, maybe that's you know the maps. Some of the maps are actually quite big, so you do get quite a variety of what you do, and some of the things that you have to do once you get there um, are different. So that's that's kind of nice. So. Um, yeah, so longevity, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. You know, um, we, we had a mixture here, one one big map and one sh small map. And that, um, you know, that, that was kind of a nice mix up there with what you have to do. And there was a few things that I didn't like about the game and kind of wish that um, maybe it's something I missed. Maybe I, I, I didn't see it. Maybe I was, I, I, I'm not sure. But anyway, it was the weapon, cu weapon customization. I know that once you're in the game, and I just certainly didn't use that, but once you're in the game, you can actually pull up a, like a weapon wheel and you can choose um, certain, I, I, I think it's, you can change your attachments to the way that your loadout is um, on the fly inside the game. But I like to set myself up before I get into the game, and I couldn't see how to do that. You can certainly change your weapon, but you st I didn't see any way of customizing that weapon outside of the actual game itself. And so that, for me, uh, a bit of a bugbear. It's not a, it's not a deal breaker as such, because you can do it on the fly, but i much rather not be doing it on the fly. I'd much rather um, go into the game having the weapon set up the way I like it. You know, if I want to change it in game, then that's fine. That's, that's all well and good. But I'd like to see that customization outside of the game, so you can kind of get have a bit more time, um, so people aren't waiting on you. Um, one thing I found was a bit annoying was that if the enemy do flank you um, and certainly get close enough behind you, they start to scream. It's kind of a banshee type scream, and I think you may hear some of that at the end of this round um, where um, they shout. But what it does, it just alerts you that the enemy is really, really near, and I kind of uh, it kind of took the realism out for me. Um, I, you know, I, I don't think in reality the enemy would scream at you just to kind of give you a heads up warning. Hey, I'm behind you. I'm going to stab you in the back. I'm going to shoot you. Whatever. Turn around and shoot me. And so that was a bit, uh, a, a bit weird. And I kind of, uh, a bit, um, so that uh, didn't really, not really sold on that idea. Um, although it does save you from being shot in the back. And um, then the other thing was, and it's not a big thing really, is that it did feel as though all they've done is revamped. Um, the old game. Um, once again, this is just my view, having only played for about an hour at the most, I think it was an hour at the most, so I didn't really get a chance to really see what this game can do and what it has to deliver. Um, certainly, my first feelings on the game is I love it. I like the mechanics, like I said earlier. I love the movement in it. Um, I like that the weapons have a bit of recoil in it, and depending on what weapon you've got, depends on how uh, you know accurate you can, you can be and what you're going to hit. Um, how you have to burst, if you have to burst fire, if you've got fully automatic, and that type of thing. So yeah, I, I kind of really enjoyed myself. And I, I guess if you get into this game, and if you can get into the game with some squad mates, um, you know, some players that you're communicating with, you're probably even better. Because wise, some of you are, are take, taking maybe a, 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 a frontal attack um, and taking their, um, all their attention is on you. You could have some teammates flanking around the back and that will work and I actually played a few rounds where some of the guys we actually did split up and do that and that kind of um, kind of mixed up a little bit and that was kind of fun so overall I'm really I really kind of enjoyed the very short amount of time I had to do on this stress test you know and you know I'm really now looking forward to playing the beta you know getting in with the squad uh, I know you know like I said my brother has actually um, signed up for this so hopefully the two of us can get into this do some communication do some flanking and really have a good time because I think the potential is really there and I'm really looking forward to playing this anyway I'm gonna shut up for now I'm gonna let you watch the rest of this game play out um, doesn't end the way I wanted it to it was my mistake I'm not gonna tell you what happens you have to see for yourself anyway great game 
loads of potential. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you later. Okay, bye.